Check it out, 97 Subaru Video, but it's not just a regular video, it's a bistro. Check out the size of this thing. So with the four cylinder supercharged engine, it comes out at 63 uh, horsepower. So driving in the street, it's not bad. It's pretty good actually. Stick around though. We're gonna put this thing in the freeway and uh, hopefully everything goes well. For being a 97, it's only got 51,000 kilometers. Um, cold AC, electric windows, automatic transmission. The front end kind of looks like a Jaguar with the headlights, with the grill. It's a looker for sure. I've had people ask me, hey, what is that? Is that an old 70s Honda? Where did you buy it from? I've never seen one before. Did you buy it from Alibaba? Where can I get one? If you're looking for a sporty four-door hatch Subi with BBS wheels, this is the one for sure. Let's do the twenty dollar uh, test for gas. It's about a half a quarter. Prices in California, right there. I'm gonna put twenty bucks right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see how the needle goes. Damn California, the gas prices. It's about five gallons. All right, let's check out this bad boy. Let's see how much twenty bucks gets us. Ah, look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Almost three quarters. Oh wait, it's still going up actually. Three quarters, there you go. Wait, more than three quarters, twenty dollars, man. It's a steal. Uh, actually, actually, let me let me uh, correct my video. <laughs> With the twenty dollars, look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy. Who needs hybrids? Who needs EVs? Driving in the street is not bad. I mean, you get about, online at least it says you get about 46 miles per gallon. And now we proved that with about 20 bucks, you get a full tank, so it's not bad. Right now we're just uh, doing about 70 kilometers. Just like any other car, really. Will it go on the freeway, though, is the real question. I don't know. I haven't tried yet, but we're gonna try that right now. So you might be thinking, can I drive this thing on the freeway? I don't know, let's find out. I actually haven't tried it myself, let's find out. Yeah, so far so good. How big is the SUVI really though? Let's check it out. Let's compare it to an American car. It looks small, but let's do a size comparison though. Look how much space is in the back still. 
Look how much space is in the front. That's a small car. Now we're into the more uh, mid-sized SUV. Got this cool little uh, Hilux Surf diesel. Let's compare the size. Let's see. Still a couple uh, feet shorter though. Hmm, let me see, let me see. Is there anything in here that's about the size? Let's check it out. Hold on. I know what you're saying. Man, that baby is hella small. Hella small. It's the smallest car I've ever seen. Well, you'd be wrong. Even though the car is really small, right here, we have a Honda Beat. Even smaller. Look how small that looks compared to this one. These are classified as uh, K cars in Japan. All right, just picture it. You're coming up to the car meet. You got the Edgars. You got the Cuz over there with their trucks. You got the BMW Mercedes guys over there. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, always cool. Hell yeah. But, but, guarantee that everybody's gonna be looking at you pulling up in the supercharged Subi. 